hey guys welcome to civil engineer sadda so today we are going to see the explicit dynamic analysis dynamic analysis of uh, cube concrete cube okay i'm just going to show you how to carry out the explicit dynamic analysis okay so let's begin so let's drag out the explicit dynamics here uh, so now we'll just name it as explicit dynamics of on concrete cube concrete cube okay fine so let's uh, begin the analysis so first let's do the geometry in uh, space claim uh, so i'm just starting the space claim so it will take some time so i'll just load when it so my dear friends uh, the explicit dynamics uh, modeling is to be done in the space claim so i've just chosen the space claim so let's select the plan view here and i'm just going to make a plane here a rectangle so from here select it define rectangle from center and then from center drag this i'm just selecting a standard cube of size 150 to 150 mm so just hit enter here so you'll see that a rectangle of 150 150 has been created so select the 3d view okay now just uh, let's extrude the plane here okay so just uh, select pull and hit here drag this out to make it 150 mm height so all the sides so it's it has been created here so the cube is exactly the cube is a 150 mm cube this is a 150 mm uh, concrete cube so let me select the material to be added here so let's may unknown material already i have been selected here if you have not selected the material you can select it in the engineering data and then put it so since i have already selected the concrete let me make it as concrete so all the values will just get displayed here okay so the material which we have selected is concrete okay uh, so fine guys so in explicit dynamics what we usually do is we select the explicit materials also uh, so what i'm going to do is just i'm going to engineering data here so after going to engineering data let me drag this okay now you can see here that there's a structural steel the material default it is selected the structural steel here now but now i want some other materials so there is a option for selecting the explicit materials okay you can see here you can select explicit materials here just click on explicit materials and wait for it to load okay so explicit materials has been loaded so explicit materials are the materials that are used for analyzing the explicit properties okay so you can just see here after selecting the explicit materials yes now you can just see that uh, the different uh, materials for explicit dynamics are been visible so antimony beryllium bismuth so all those things are available but just we are going for uh, concrete here let's select the concrete uh, okay yeah so just see here i think that uh, it is not getting visible here so let me go slowly so just see here 140 mpa 140 mpa and 35 mpa okay so 35 mpa concrete light so all those things are available let me select uh, concrete uh, 35 mpa 35 megapascal or concrete light for that matter and concrete 35 okay so let's uh, see here whatever we have selected here so we have selected a concrete light material structural steel okay fine so everything is done here let's come back to the project details and now let's let us uh, load this model in our ansys mechanical apdl okay so let's open our mechanical uh, apdl for uh, analysis purpose so till it opens i'll just pause the video
so guys the mechanical uh, part has been loaded here so let's uh, do the carry out the analysis so before that we will check out with this material here let's select the volume just uh, we'll check out with the materials yes so materials we are having concrete uh, light so we'll see that the system solid is been selected and uh, we are going to assign with concrete light okay light concrete material okay so coming to the meshing part let's go for the de default mesh and generate mesh okay just we'll generate the default mesh for time being okay fine this is okay that's not a very uh, coarse mesh the meshing is uh, okay for the analysis now what we're going to see is we are going to select the insert acceleration standard earth gravity all those things are there so first let us insert let's go to the initial conditions and insert the velocity but actually before that i'm just going to carry out the explicit dynamic analysis with uh, force okay i'm just going to insert a force that distributes a force vector across one or more topologies i'm just going to exert a force here so just let me select this face here and uh, geometry i'm just going to apply a dynamic load on the top surface of the cube so this is a force let me make this as a component here for time being and uh, now where we want to apply this force we want to apply it in the negative y direction okay negative y direction okay negative y direction so just let me put here minus 100 kilo newton okay 100 kilo newton okay minus 100 kilo newton of load i'm just applying there and uh, now i'm what now i'm going to what i'm going to do is analysis I have to set the analysis time and the time for the analysis what is the meaning of analysis is actually the explicit dynamics is always carried out for very short intervals of time for loads applied for very short intervals of time so for this purpose we are going to apply income uh, put a end time so i'm just going to enter end time as uh, 0 0.005 seconds okay or 5 to 10 to the power minus 3 or 0 0.005 seconds and number of steps i'm going to increase it to as 2 okay i'm just going to increase the number of steps as 2 and uh, what i'm going to do is okay number of steps is 2 solution setting initial setting analysis settings okay so steps 5 6 fine mm, now we are going to up just see this force here here we are seeing that the force applied is uh, okay in x it is zero in z it is also zero but initially here it is zero but what i'm going to do is directly i'm going to make it zero here okay initially the force applied in the y direction will be zero so means uh, in the time of minus seconds and uh, now let me make this okay so let me change this here so just what i'm doing is i'm just going to carry out this uh, explicit dynamic analysis with a force of 100 kilo newton okay i'm just applying a force of 100 kilo newton so let's see how this works out okay uh, so fine so let's hit here let's say insert uh, total deformation for time being and uh, now let's say solve okay so this will take some time to solve so i will just load the results when when we arrive at the results okay sorry guys one mistake i have made is i have not uh, i forgot to add the support here let me put a support here so let me make a fix support here at the end here so that is very important so i have to make a fix support here so let me add a fix support here okay so fine after adding the fix support i have made my base as a fix support 
now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit the analysis part so I'm just saying solve okay sorry I've just uh, forgot to put the fix support here so without support how can the cube be resisting the load that we are applying okay so that thing I had missed out so this is taking some time you can just see a 24 percent 30 for 30 percent so it is run it will uh, load it will take some time so till then we will uh, just see whether so the mesh size you, you usually you should take a very fine mesh then only we'll get the accurate results but uh, still since we are doing uh, it for a uh, uh, purpose like for uh, uh, selecting the default size already it will be a program controlled uh, mesh so that mesh also will be very much uh, valid or it will be according to the geometry element size ratio so that will not be a problem so guys our analysis has been completed so let's see the solution okay so just see the deformation so my guy so just see the deformation just see the pattern of uh, this guys here just at the ends at the ends only we are getting the maximum stress here so at the ends only we are just finding that there is a maximum stress so one thing what i am going to do here is here is that uh, i'm just going to oh, while going to after going to the analysis settings here i am just going to uh, the setting called as erosion controls okay so in erosion controls there you can make on material failure make the value as s okay change it to yes okay so means whenever your material fails it will show you the material failure okay and output settings in the output settings you can see uh, 20 result number of points make it around 50 okay make it around 50 and uh, we have also changed the material on being failure so now what I'm going to do is I am going to give a load of 300 kilonewton so I'm just going to apply a load of 300 kilonewton and just check okay so I'm just checking out with applying 300 kilonewton of load so this will take some time because it has to load so let me continue when it loads okay so guys so guys the total deformation uh, is available so the result has been calculated so we can see that the total deformation so my my dear friends so you can see at the end of uh, six zero point zero zero six seconds this is the max this is a total deformation actually it means it is a complete failure so to understand uh, the load that it is taking that we have to see the principal stress okay we have to see the maximum principal stress so let's see the maximum principal stress and we'll say evaluate all results okay so just see the maximum principal stress here it is okay fine just see the observations in this video here okay so in this way we can analyze a cube for explicit dynamic loading okay i hope this uh, you like this video so if we change the support if we make uh, the support fixed here now instead of fixed if we can make it as a um, displacement means if we could allow it in the displacement then we could have checked with for other load also so since we are only doing for it maximum principal stress okay so we are just restricting this video for the uh, deformation and maximum principal stress so let's meet you i hope this was helpful to you so let's meet in next video if you like my video please and uh, subscribe to my channel and share the videos to others okay meet you in my next videos till then take care thank you